rejecting God in the form of a man as their Messiah. Why then does the Quran, which claims to have its roots in this very book, preach a different Jesus? That's my question. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, let me correct my brother Spate. The Jews were not expecting the Messiah as a man God. They had no such idea. The word Messiah, I gave you an idea that this is a very common word used in the scriptures. I gave you from the very book that you were quoting just now from the book of Isaiah. I said that Isaiah chapter, 40, chapter 45, verse 1, Cyrus, a pagan, a polytheist, an idol worshiper, God Almighty calls him Messiah. If he calls a pagan, an idol worshiper, which is the greatest sin to these monotheistic religions like Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, is to associate any beings with God. This Cyrus was a pagan and idol worshiper, and God calls him Messiah. And he says, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. You, a pagan, you don't know me, but I still surname you Christ. So a pagan can be Christ, and pillars can be Christ. No, in your book, you want me to give you references? Pillars. Pillars are anointed. Are they made into Messiah? Pillars. Pots and pans. I gave you reference of pots and pans. In the book that's given to you, all the text is given. Pots and pans are anointed. Anointed in Greek Christos, which is Christ. In Hebrew, Messiah, pots and pans. Pot. Christ, pillar, Christ, priest, Christ. It's all in your book. Then you're quoting me about the, this prophecy about Emmanuel, which means God with us. This is a name. Emmanuel means God with us. And he shall be called Emmanuel. I am asking learned men of Christianity, who called Jesus Emmanuel? In all his 33 years, give me one reference. Who called him Emmanuel at any time? Who called him Almighty God? Who? Who called him so? Nobody. Did he say, I'm God? Did he say, worship me? On the contrary, he says, I, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous. Because I seek not my own will, but the will of him that sent me. He says, see, the words you hear are not mine. But the Father that sent me, he had given me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak, even as the Father had said unto me, so I speak. He says, of that day knoweth no man, no, not the angels, nor the Son, but the Father in heaven. In what way is he claiming equality with God? Where does he say, I am God? Where does he say, worship me? There isn't. I'm saying, where did he say such words? Nowhere. To the contrary, he's saying, my Father is greater than I, my Father is greater than all. I don't know whether it means what he says. If anybody called him God, called him Jehovah, Emmanuel is nothing. This is the name. You have Emmanuel Cathedral behind your, your chemist. Emmanuel Cathedral. You see, you have thousands of people in the book. You find hundreds there, Eli. In the Holy Bible. Eli, E-L-I, Eli. You remember Jesus on the cross is supposed to have cried out, Eli, Eli. You know how many allies are there in this book here? Jews. Allies, how many? Dozens of them. Allies means my God. The name is my God. If your name is Eli, you know what it means, my God. Am I saying you are my God? Look, here in the book, how many allies have you got? E-L-I. And yet, Jesus is saying Eli, Eli, calling to those Jews as his God. No, these are names in language. Emmanuel means a person who is a godly person who is ever thinking that God is ever with him in his behavior. That is what it means. It doesn't mean he is God. The Jews didn't have any idea of God's incarnate, the God coming to earth as a man. Messiah means the anointed one, the appointed one. That's all. He was appointed by God to be his representative, to bring them back to the path. The Muslims are telling the very same thing. So look, this man is not God. He is a Messiah, yes. But what does Messiah mean? Go to the root. The root word means anointed, means appointed, officially appointed by God. That is all. And every prophet, you read some of these terms we take. 
and we give it specifically, exclusively for a certain person. Every prophet of God is an anointed of God in Hebrew Messiah. But we use this term exclusively for Jesus. The word Rasulullah, messenger of God. In the Quran, Moses is described as Rasulullah, messenger of God. Jesus is described as Rasulullah, messenger of God. But ask any Muslim, when he says Rasulullah, who is he talking about? He's talking about the Holy Prophet Muhammad. So what about Moses? The Quran says Rasulullah. No, this word is exclusively used in that sense for Muhammad. Though Moses is the messenger of God, Jesus is also the messenger of God. We say Abraham is a friend of God. Are all the other prophets his enemies of God? No. But exclusively we reserve that term for Abraham. Moses is an interlocutor with God, one who spoke with God. Didn't Jesus speak with God? Didn't Muhammad speak with God? But we use that term exclusively for Moses, that he spoke with God, though all prophets spoke to him. Likewise, this word Messiah, every prophet of God is a Messiah, is anointed, appointed, consecrated. But we use this term exclusively for Jesus. I don't see anywhere where this man says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. This is what I want.